Let's talk about Tasso. This crowd will pretend that they care about our community, they care about jobs. It's all bullshit. They've killed Macquarie Harbour, they're complicit in the mess down there. They've taken 5,000 seals down from there, dropped them between here and here for the last 25 years. Two springs running right through the migratory season of our spawning fish species. They dropped four to 5,000 in that coastline there. When we raised our concerns, oh yeah, we care, we want to meet up with you. They promised a meeting with their department head, the head spin doctor, Bob and McGregor. I said to Bob before the meeting, I bet they don't turn up. And sure enough, we had two young blokes sent along to talk to us. After that meeting, they said they'd get back to us within two weeks, they didn't. I had a bit of a breakdown and chased a relocator along the highway and nearly got violent. And I reported that the next day, those serial relocations were stopped. Tassau told us a minimum of four years to address the problems with these old, outdated nets down there. Apparently now they can do that within a year. They were lying to us. They're allowed to do anything they want. They can close down their, our fishery here. We had no spawning fish from calamari at all along this coast last year. It was just a, a dead end for us there. All these pricks care about is two things. Money to the company and an increase in the dividend to the shareholder. And the other thing I don't like, they're using Tasmania as part of their name. There's no such thing as Tasmanian Atlantic salmon. Atlantic's in the Northern Hemisphere. I object to it. Cross the tea out. They shouldn't be allowed to use it. And the other thing I don't like about this crowd is how they come into our communities. Down here at Tribuna, up here in King Island, flying people out, taking them through their factories, pretending that they're a good, clean corporate citizen. They haven't bothered to catch up with us. They haven't even bothered to see any of the fishermen that had their fishery shut down through their actions. So you beware, King Island. They'll come in and promise you money. They'll throw money to the golf club, to the sports club, to the swingers club, whatever. And then they'll be, you'll be beholden to them. Don't be deceived. The same thing is happening in churches on the coast everywhere. They're getting caught up in this money game. It's all about money, 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 everywhere. Time to make a decision not based on money, based on the health of our marine environments, the significance of the areas concerned. That's what we need to be doing. Not about cash. You know, wake up, people. This is serious. This is, the, this is our home. It's been shit on here. No social license there. Close down our wild fishery here. Want to go into this area, probably the most significant breeding area for that many species. It just makes me so bloody wild. To put something in the middle of there that has no resistance to the pilchard virus in stocking densities that they, they obviously don't care about down here. Ram in as many as you can, get as much money out of as you can, and then we're left with the mess. Back in the industrial age, Bernie had 8 double PM, they had the zinc, uh, the dioxide there, acid plant here, and then all the storage systems along the coast, all dumping all their crap out in here. You know, those days are over. We're not a dumping ground for corporations.